How's it going? Gosh, this is getting fun for me. I'm putting them up in the morning. And then um, reading the comments when I come home from work. Uh, I got lucky again today and I caught um, another one of Julie Mora's dreams. That was a great book that she, you know, um, I don't want to say reading to us. is giving us the Julie Mora uh, Reader's Digest version of it. But it was awesome, man. And uh, that stream last night, uh, I don't know, all you guys have probably already watched her, right? Um, it was just great. The chat was very lively and no one was fighting. There was no little haters down there um, talking about nonsensical things and um, no racism. None of that stuff, man. I got to say, I mean, <laughs> you know uh, what my content is all about. But I got to say, um, it made me feel uh, proud to be Canadian, man. I, the people that were on there were all, all come across as really decent people. It was just a great chat, man. I really, really enjoyed it. And I know that sounds corny, but it's been a long time since uh, I've watched anything on YouTube that kind of made me feel optimistic. <laughs> and my optimism is based on on the feel in the chat, right? I mean, and, and I know most of those people, and a, a lot of people in the chat are, are, are longtime viewers of mine. We all know each other, right? Pretty much. And uh, it was just great. So if you don't subscribe to her, I don't know why, uh, you should because uh, it was just great. And on, on the side, because she uses Restream and you can see your comments. Uh, you can see them. And then on there, you can see your comments are being deleted by Google. Right? And she was talking about how the Germans were using uh, Muslim soldiers for a while to inflict pain and suffering. And I left a comment, you know, spelling Muslim correctly, M-O-S-L-E-M, -E about how, uh, you know, in Canada, they'll only be too happy, Muslim soldiers will be only too happy to inflict uh, pain and suffering and raping our women and children, right? Remember what I said for years, years ago, I said that these would be the soldiers that would uh, damage Canadians because there's not enough soldiers here and the police. And, and, and in the end, it comes to, do you think they're all going to be willing participants in uh, committing these atrocities on their fellow citizens? No. But new Canadians will, especially ones that came from uh, countries where that's the norm. And especially those leaders of security police that made it to Canada under that super-duper special immigration program. Remember that? Remember that? Remember that? I was wondering why they were here. There you go. So someone's going to have to control these people or point them at where they have to go. Gosh, I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, but I said it years ago. But that's the only way, man. We, there's not enough uh, police and soldiers in Canada, you know, to, to, to make that stuff happen. So they're going to use ones like that. And we'll, we'll make you citizens. Yeah. So get out there and start raping, boys. Get going. On all them dissidents. There you go. But it was a great, uh, a great stream. Thanks for that. And uh, all of you that were, that were there will agree it was awesome, man. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff.